I'm a little bit petered off and a little bit slightly perturbed today, I got to tell you. Thanks for everybody who showed up for the uh, live stream of the South Carolina versus Tennessee game. I enjoyed hanging out with y'all. Uh, didn't enjoy the game that much, especially in the first half or the final score. Uh, Tennessee wins 45-20. Congratulations to everyone uh, who uh, subs to this channel, who is a Vol fan. Uh, you guys are definitely have a really good football team. Uh, you do, especially offensively. Uh, I like a lot of the things you did today, uh, a lot of the play calls that you had, uh, especially in that first quarter. Uh, I wish somebody could steal them uh, and give them to Marcus Satterfield. I, it probably don't matter because he wouldn't do a damn thing with it anyway. Um, say what you want to. Uh, about play calls, though, say what you want to about uh, this and that. Um, Tennessee just out-talented South Carolina today. Uh, they really did. Um, the people at Las Vegas who gave South Carolina 3.5 wins uh, going into the season, they were right. None of us wanted to believe it, but they were right. Um, and as the title of this video suggests, I think that the transfer portal thing, Tennessee lost all these scholarship players, blah, blah, blah. I think that it's really overrated. I really do. Uh, Tennessee is a good team. I can tell you firsthand, they played well today, but they're still a really good team. Um, offensively, I mean, that quarterback, Hendon Hooker, I mean, he, coming in from Virginia Tech, he had a pretty solid career there. Um, he comes into Tennessee, he's probably got, I mean, a little bit more to work with than he did at Virginia Tech. I mean, he's been really good. I thought, you know, all summer long that he would end up being their quarterback at some point in time. And I don't know why they fooled around with this kid from Michigan or that younger guy, um, but th so they did. Uh, Hen Hooker uh, lights out for Tennessee today. Um, the first quarter, um, that's really all he had to do. Uh, and, you know... <laughs> I was doing this live stream today and noticing after halftime that South Carolina started kind of creeping back into the ball game a little bit. And, but then I looked up at it and I, and I just looked at things and I said, do you really, I said to myself, I said, jackpot, do you really think that if South Carolina starts really making a serious run at this thing, that Tennessee's going to do anything more than put their foot on their neck and just squash it? No, I didn't. And that's exactly what happened. Um, you know, we're in the SEC, and we want to think that talent level-wise that we are uh, on par with the rest of these teams, but we're not. Um, Will Muschamp left this team in a shitty mess, uh, the program in a shitty mess, and Beamer's got to pick up the pieces. And to his point, he's doing the best he can right now. He's doing the best he can right now. But um, it's going to take some time, and I've got to get myself in that kind of mindset. i got to get myself in that kind of frame of mind. Because dozens and dozens of people today on the chat said, Jackpot, y'all are going to be okay. you got to give Beamer some time. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, well, those are all people that are Georgia fans. And they're all people that are, you know, fans of programs that are successful or, or goddamn, they're real close to success. Uh, you're not uh, in my shoes. Uh, when I look at the product on the field, it looks like crap. And that's what I judge it on. I don't judge things on, well, it looks like crap right now, but in a couple of years, it's going to be this. No, I, I don't. I don't look at it that way. Um, so, you know, it, it's a lot easier said than done. Is what I'm getting at. Um, they got mauled today physically uh, up front. Uh, th that defense, uh, man, it's it's not good. I, I I don't care what the numbers say. I don't care where we rank out nationally, guys. You are not good. You're not good. Too many missed tackles. There was one time, man, y'all should have had Hendon Ho sacked six fucking yards behind the damn line of scrimmage, and y'all let him scramble around for like a five- or seven-yard gain. Why missed freaking tackles? You miss too many tackles. Wrap them up, guys. Wrap them up. Um, but at any rate, um, you know, on to next week, uh, and 
next week is probably going to be South Carolina. It's not, there's no problem to it. Ne next week will be our last chance at a win. Uh, if you win next week, South Carolina goes 4-8 and eight this year. You're not beating any of the rest of the teams on the schedule. You're not beating Texas A&M. You're not beating Auburn. You're not beating Clemson. You're not beating Florida for damn sure. Uh, and you're not beating uh, Mizzou. Uh, I know that Mizzou's not any good defensively, but it doesn't really matter because you're playing on the road. You've been playing like shit, and um, they're going to absolutely impose their will on you in the first quarter. And guess what? You're going to fucking quit, just like you did today. Um, so, you know, I, I, I'm not saying I'm done with the team. I'm done with this and that. But, I mean, something's got to give. Uh, we got to get some talent in here. And we got to get it in here now, Beamer. You got to start, dude, you got to start cultivating this fucking transfer portal immediately. You got to start turning it over. Get your shovel out. Pretend like it, the transfer portal is your garden and start digging that motherfucker up right now. Because you got to find some damn players to fill some damn holes until the ones that you're recruiting, these freshmen and stuff that you're recruiting, are able to come in here and make a significant impact on this program. Because we're tired of this, man. I'm tired of this. All of us are tired of this. South Carolina won 11 games three years in a row, finishing top 10 three years in a row under Steve Spurrier. He proved that it can be done. You are the guy to do it. Now let's take it to the next damn level. I don't want to see any more embarrassing performances like the one I saw today. That really hurts my heart as a Gamecock fan. Now that's about all I got to say about that. I'll see y'all later. Appreciate y'all for tuning in today. If you were in here, we had a hell of a good time. And if you missed it, go back and watch it. It's on YouTube. It won't be deleted. I'll see y'all. Peace. I'm out. Go Cox. Still spurs up to my toes up, baby. Congratulations to Tennessee. I hope you win the rest of your damn games. I hope you kick Kentucky's ass. And guess what? I hope you kick Georgia's ass, too. And that little shit nugget called Alabama. <laughs>